Hi, Maria. That's right. Well, there's 80 black police officers at the San Diego Police Department, many of which I'm sure will be right out here tomorrow outside the Hall of Justice, where we expect to see the next big rally. Uh, that being said, sure, some of them will be torn emotionally, said the president of the Black Police Officers Association. But he says they're going to be right out here doing what's right, trying to leave a, leave a positive impact. Working 12 to 14 hour shifts for over a week, Lieutenant Ben Kelso says it's ta taxing. It's tiring. Uh, we are seeing across the nation people speak out that uh, it was wrong and uh, those officers should be prosecuted. But what has transpired since then, um, the protests and some of the violence and looting cannot be condoned. In the wake of the death of George Floyd, protests have broke out around the country, including here in San Diego. On one side, people fighting for basic rights, fighting for the black community. On the other, police, some of which are black themselves. To have people in your face, you know, uh, really giving it to you about why are you here? Uh, you should be here with us. Don't you believe in what we believe in? So that's tough. Growing up near Detroit, Lieutenant Kelso says black officers came to his community when he was a kid, helped forge important relationships and connections. Three decades later, he's now the president of the San Diego Black Officers Association, doing it himself. You come into this profession for, for noble reasons. It's a noble profession. All right, it's a great profession. I've been here for 30 years. He says the past two weeks is different than anything he's ever seen before. Well, I really do think that that this particular moment is is the moment of change across the nation. You know, agencies are really stopping and saying, hey, can we do this better? And the president of the Black Police Officer uh, Police Officers Association said he's also absolutely in favor of police reform here in San Diego. Something that they're considering right now is giving power to an independent civilian uh, board which could look into allegations against police. That's something that city county, uh, or city council rather, is expected to vote on later in the month. From downtown San Diego, Jeff McAdam, Fox 5 News.